Listen, man, over the last couple days, I've been having some crazy dreams. And I'm 22 years old, and honestly, for the last year, I haven't been dreaming at all. I don't know what it is, but I go to bed, I'll probably sleep around eight hours, and that's it. I don't remember the last eight hours of my life, and there's no dreaming involved. But for whatever reason, for the last couple days, it's kind of kicked up where I've been having some really extreme thoughts, and I wake up just thinking to myself, hey, what the hell is going on in my head? So today, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about. Now, honestly, the night started off very poorly. I made a terrible mistake. So first off, I had a really, really good stream. I was playing H1Z1 for the first time. I met some cool ass people. I killed some some other guys out of cold blood. It was great. I don't know if you guys have watched H1Z1 at all, but it is a lot of fun to play. And I told myself, you know what? It was a really, really good stream. It's time to reward yourself. So me and Krim hop in the whip and we head over to a local restaurant in Chicago. If you guys are from the Midwest, you might have had it before. It's called Portillo's. They're really famous for their hot dogs. So I was thinking to myself, I'm going to get me these hot dogs. Like this is going to happen. I'm going to eat these. It's going to be a great time. So I buy three hot dogs, large fry, a piece of chocolate cake. I'm living. Okay. Now, I've been eating really, really well, but I, I figured since, like I said, I had a really good stream, might as well treat myself. So, we get back to the house, right? And Krim automatically, he sits down on the couch in the living room, and he's watching some TV show that I've never watched, and I can't get into it. So, I just tell myself, all right, we're going to go up to the bedroom, and we are going to turn on some ancient aliens. I don't know if you guys have ever watched this show, but it's extremely fascinating to me. Uh, basically, a bunch of scientists go back and look at a lot of things that archaeologists have discovered in, about the ancient times, like BC. Like There's BC and then there's AD. Like BC actually does stand before Christ, but AD is actually Anno Domini. But that, that, I don't know why I just got into that. That's not the point. But basically, they go back and they try to prove that our... Ancient civilizations had technology that we still don't have to this day and they're trying to figure out if aliens brought them that technology or we were a lot smarter than we thought back in the day. I don't know. It's a really cool show. Apparently it's been on for like five years and I've really like just not heard about it. So I'm only on like episode two on Netflix. I'm having a blast. So I'm going to work on this meal. I pound three hot dogs in like five minutes. I, I love hot dogs. Whatever. You guys can make fun of me for pounding dogs. What Alright. <laughs> okay. That that sounded a lot different than I meant it to sound. I, I did not mean it in that way. Okay, bad images. Let's keep going with the story. So, ancient civilizations or ancient aliens is going on the TV. I'm watching. I'm having a great time. I finish my meal, and then I bust open that cake, and I'm drinking water with it. I'm cooling, man. I'm feeling great. Fatigue hits me. I mean, it's around 10 o'clock, and, and normally, I don't fall asleep till around 2 o'clock in, in the morning, and I get around 8 hours. I wake up around 10. That's my schedule. But for some reason, tonight, I'm passed out on my bed, and I fall asleep. I did not mean to. It was not my plan, but it happened, and that's where this dream came in. So, it all started. Let me open up my notes so I can remember where I was at in this dream because you guys ever have a dream where you remember it for like the first five minutes that you're awake but then you try to remember what actually happened like an hour later and you don't remember anything that's why I wrote it down I was ahead of I was ahead of myself I woke up and I was just like this needs to go on some paper man because I've been playing way too much Call of Duty it all started off I was on a date with Kate up obviously we all know that she's got a, a beautiful body there's a lot of controversial opinions about Kate Upton whether they find her attractive but I think Kate Upton is a goddess she is so sexy that's my girl right there for me i was on a date with kate upton and all of a sudden i went to the bathroom and in here it says as soon as i went to the bathroom it turned into a call of duty map i don't know what happened but as soon as i opened the door i was first person on riot search and destroy and we were playing against real life terrorists i honestly i think because i was talking to mr wilson on h1z1 on a stream that i was doing the night before and we were talking about how i guess egypt is doing like a full attack on isis and so for whatever reason i think i had terrorists in my mindset we were legitimately playing riot search and destroy against terrorists and these were our real life if we lost the match we were dead, okay? So we're down five to four, and apparently Crim6 clutched the 1v3. We're first person, and Crim6 goes big, okay? And I, I specifically wrote it down that Scump and I could not get any kills. We were doing absolutely off, but for whatever reason, Formal and I, 5-5, five, five, we were up against two other terrorists. It was two on two, Crim6 and, and, and Scump. They ended up getting some kills that round, but it was two on two at this point. And we ended up, I remember it so vividly actually. I was going around the back end 
of A Search and Destroy, and one of the terrorists fell down from third story. I domed him, and then Formo finally picked up that last kill, bottom A, and we defused the bomb. But as soon as Formo defused the bomb, for whatever reason, Formo turned into Flame Sword. He lives in a house right now, and for whatever reason, he started arming a nuclear bomb. And I'm just thinking to myself, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you arming a nuclear bomb, dude? Like, one, where did you get the nuke, okay? Two, why did you turn into yourself? Like, where where the where did Formo go? We just clutch around, I want to hang out with him. And, and why, why would you ever arm a nuke with us right next to it. I, it just did not make any sense to me. So there's like a 10 second timer on this bomb and I'm just thinking to myself, dude, you, you just ruined my day, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Like there, we are going to die. This is a nuclear bomb. So the timer ticks down and I'm just, I just remember this, this, this pure hatred for Mike. Just thinking to myself like, why, why would you ever do that? Like we're, we're dead. And then as soon as the bomb explodes, I'm back in the optic house and I'm asleep on the couch and I'm eating Cheeto puffs. And so I was asleep in my dream, and then I woke up from that dream, and I so it was a dream in a dream inception. I dude, I don't know what was going on, but I had Cheeto puffs, so it was all good. And then I wake up in real life, the dream's over. I wake up in a dead sweat. I still have my hat on, I have my jacket, sweatpants, slippers, socks. So I'm like legitimately sweating bullets. All the lights are on, the TV's blaring, and I don't know where I'm at, what's going on, and it's 6 a.m. And that is when I wrote down the dream. I don't know, man. I think I've been playing uh, way too much Call of Duty. I don't know why I'm having these dreams, but dude, I still can't get over the nuke. I, can't, I still can't get over the nuclear bomb. But I know this video was absolutely random. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I, for some reason, when I was sleeping last night and I woke up, I thought this was somewhat important, so I wrote it down. So I figured I'd just share my subconscious thoughts with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and YouTube. We'll see you, Fudge and